Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, NaveenReviews.com. So today I'm just reviewing a great product which I got for a very affordable price. So this is the Kipon uh, Canon EF to Micro Four Third Adapter. I got it to use it along with my best friend. This is the Panasonic Lumix G7. Yes, you heard it. It's my best purchase. I would definitely rate it because it has ton of advantages guys i mean if you're looking if you're looking for one great camera to do all of the stuff then i would definitely recommend you to get the panasonic lumix g7 because it is still affordable and it gets a lot of discounts and deals every day every time and you can get it i got this whole setup for about 400 dollars i mean 450 dollars and but they included a bunch of accessories in it so the actual price after excluding the price of the accessories would be approximately $400. So that was a great deal. And beyond that, this camera has this, this swiveling screen. So that's a great advantage again, if you have a, a Sony Alpha 6500 as I have, and as it is recording right now, I would definitely not feel so comfortable without that screen. But this guy has that. To get more out of this camera, I did one great thing I bought a cheap adapter from ebay so if you're looking for a metabone speed booster ultra you would actually have to spend somewhere around four six hundred and fifty dollars okay so this one this is from the company called keep on i mean you can you can search it on ebay and it is still available on adorama and bnh i believe but it costs about 428 dollars so it's a heck of a money and to overcome that what i did is i was searching it on the internet and got it across ebay for about 280 dollars i believe they are in still stock but i'm not 100 percent sure so let's proceed further to get more out of it i had to buy this adapter because i already own a sigma 18 to 35 mm and it's a great great lens guys i mean it's my best purchase i would definitely re recommend I would I would definitely rate it as a best purchase in my tech accessories. So this three setup is more than enough to do everything and every work. So this adapter, though it is, a, I got it for about two hundred and two hundred and ninety eight dollars. It it does a great thing. I mean, I had a Metabone Speed Booster Ultra, but I was not purely satisfied with it. But with this, I'm um, actually, so to, to get more out of it, you must do one more thing. You must actually purchase a ND filter. So if you are doing some work in, in a bright sunlight, then definitely you will get a lot of brightness. So to overcome that problem, you have to use an ND filter. So I have an ND filter. Um, this is the actual setup, how it looks. It's still quite, quite hefty, but, but you're getting that F1.7 for a pretty wide range, right? So who will not use it for that range? I mean, it starts at 18 mm and goes to 35 mm. So it's on the micro four thirds, it's actually about 24. I mean, it's actually two times crop factor, but you're using that filter in the between. I mean, the focal reducer. So you are actually using a, you are, so you're actually using a filter in the, in the between. It's not a filter, basically a focal reducer. So using that will actually make this lens as if it's a full frame. So you may get like 24 to you know, approximately 50 or 55 mm. So that's a great focal length for the constant aperture of f1.7. So this is it is as how it looks. I mean, let's take some photographs and some of the videos and we'll see how it looks and, and then take a call if it is worth or not. Hey guys, so this is being now recorded on the Panasonic Lumix G7 with the Kipon Bayes 0.7x focal reducer, electronic focal reducer with the Sigma 18 to 35mm. This is now at, it's actually at 18mm. So let's just zoom in and then see how the effect looks. So this is now at the 20 mm the same settings the iso is actually at 200 and f1.7 and 25 frames per second so 
okay so this is at 24 mm and that, that is the 24 focal length and the same settings of f1.7 25 frames per second and the iso is actually at 200 now we are at 28 mm with the same settings so i might have to just focus the change the focus but i'll not do that because it doesn't required so here we go we are now at the 35 mm so this is a max it can go so all the settings are at f1.7 25 frames per second iso is 200 everything is on the manual mode so i slightly adjusted the focus right now i'm at the you know small branch on the tree and it's at the 35 mm f1.7 the focal uh, the shutter speed is 25 frames per second and the iso is 200 everything is being recorded with the manual focus no auto focus looks good so let, let's take few photo samples and then just take a conclusion so here are a few of the photo samples that i've taken with this setup the sigma 18 to 35 mm the kipon ultra and the panasonic lumix g7 photos were pretty good with that amazing bokeh effect and Apart from that, the image quality is also super because of the micro four thirds sensor, the 16 megapixel resolution. Overall, I feel that this is a great setup that you should get for your YouTube videos and other stuff. So with this, I would just like to end this video, guys. I hope you have liked this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks.